So I worked with the youth, and I had a wonderful time with those kids. Uh, I had a guitar, and we'd play, and, and uh, we'd sing around in, in our living room on Sunday night. Had a good time with those kids. Uh, uh, <coughs> we recorded that baseball softball team. Oh yeah. They played softball. Yeah. No, I helped organize a softball team. Um, it was a good summer. It was hot and muggy. <laughs> and we, uh, huh? we were living in a little house that belonged to a church member. Who yeah, was, uh, right. Summers in New York. And mm -hmm. we just had a little, little bit of cottage. Mm -hmm. And uh, no air conditioning. Nobody saw that. And um, it was so hot, and we would sleep with all the windows open, and not an abundance of clothes on. And one morning we woke up about, I don't know, it seemed like 6 o'clock, and somebody was out cutting the grass right <laughs> But we had, a, you remember, we had a lot of fun looking at birds. Oh, yeah. We'd go out into the marshes. Yeah. We spent more time out there than we did on the beach. And then we went out, uh, went south of town to another community and where they were selling houses and uh, we were a young couple and we walked up to this real estate place and the guy says, if you're not interested in buying a house today, don't even talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I think it was more in a monetary, monetary way that he said something like, if you don't have $100,000, just don't come in. Um, this was 50s, it wouldn't have been that much money. So what year was this, do you think? 54, somewhere 54. Mm. Now, what was a shrubbery that was growing around the house? The uh, where we were living. It was shrubbery, and uh, we were supposed not to t touch it, not Holy to cut it. Something, something that people living up northeast wanted to cut back when they got back down there, so it would grow the way they wanted it to. And it grew up and had and it covered up our windows, and we couldn't see out and couldn't get a breeze. So we trimmed it and it made them pretty furious. <laughs> but we wouldn't anything. They, they they let the uh, let the church have a house there free for me for us to be live in for the time we were there. And that was nice. It was a nice house. It was not air conditioned. <laughs> it was good for us. Daddy. Yeah. I saw a bumper sticker. A bumper sticker. Yeah. It said, "Sure." Hell is hot, but is it humid? <laughs> <laughs> is it nearly what? It says, hell is hot, but is it humid? <laughs> <laughs> is it humid? <laughs> oh, boy. Do <laughs> you have ceiling fans back then? Mm, I seem to remember a four fan or something. We were just hot. We had a lot of sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Were you, were you close to the ocean? Could you go swim? No. Well, a couple of three miles. West Palm. Yeah. Across um, the bay or whatever. Mm -hmm. But people said, when they first knew we were going, we said something about it being hot. And they said, oh no, there's always a breeze along the coast. Well, <laughs> a little ways from the coast. Hmm. And we didn't have any breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Other thing I remember is this. Remember the mangoes? Mangoes. People mangoes, asked, yeah. People ask us if we like mangoes and we yeah. had had it and we said, Well we don't know. We'll try some and so somebody brought us some and they were you know, they were pretty good. They were different to us, but then they asked us how we liked them and we said, Oh fine and then everybody started bringing us mangoes. <laughs>
Hence, they tasted a lot like Spanish cheese. Wow. But when you know, ooh, there was some, another thing that was supposed to get ripe, but we tried to eat it green. I, remember, I can't remember what it was. It's a guava? Avocado? No, we didn't put it in. It was a leafy thing, whatever it was. The church was extremely, extremely conservative. And yeah. just before we went, the, um, whatever the act is about integration was passed. And they were brown versus yeah. and Oh, they were so upset about it, and we got a conversation about that as soon as we were there, and said, oh, what if we got an mm. And it, it was, you know, we were not particularly good fit for them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Elma came oh, back and reported to the session about how he was among a group of people who stopped the idea of a reunion with the other church. The, the northern church, uh, and we were for it, <laughs> put everybody together, but the very ultra-conservative people, and I looked at Doris, and we didn't say anything, I said, you want to go home? Mm-hmm. 